Yes, please do. Cause oh. oh, there we go. Old tech issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like we're back on, Krista. Sorry about that, everyone. Okay, uh, let's I think see. It's it's the beauty of <laughs> the internet right now. <laughs> so hopefully we'll, well get, be able to get back on again. I talk a million miles a minute, and so I'll be talking, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what's happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. I think, yeah, I think there's just a lot of, you know, people trying to do live streams and everything right now. It just is the nature of the Internet. So good. It looks like people are starting to get back on. So good. Stay with us. <laughs> good. Yay. Come back, come back. Yes. <laughs> Please come back. Come back. Yes, Missy says, okay, you're back. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> it hasn't this been a, such an interesting discussion? I have, uh, my goodness, I'm learning so many new things. I think it's so much fun. <laughs> well, do you want to see some sneak peeks of other stuff that's coming up? Yes, we would. Let me pull myself off. And you on. There we go, my friend. Go for it. So, all right. So, I showed you guys a sneak peek of my book, which is coming later. And, of course, we talked about the fabric, you know, the, the grid work, which is, you know, available now. Yay. I am designing another line, which I've already talked about with Chris earlier, and she's going to carry it in the shop. Yes. So, you guys are the first to see it. Okay? Woo -woo. You guys are special. Woo -woo. So, let me grab that, that bundles. Go ahead. What oh, you say? Well, I was just going to say that deserves a round of applause. And I happen to have a round of applause. People who are, have been on with me are probably just going, oh, brother Chris. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. There's your round of applause. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Big old bundle here. Hold on a second. Okay. So I'll give you guys oh. some indus industry insider knowledge. Woo this is half of my new collection called Good Vibes. And look at those bright, modern geometrics. Those of you that were on Tuesday, Annie left the cat out of the bag, which was totally <laughs> fun and fine. She, Annie and Ryan, go back and watch it if you haven't, on Tuesday, uh -huh. she showed several examples of my fabrics and she talked about something that she's making with this fabric. Look at that. She's making an amazing bag using that fabric and it's going to be on the cover of her pattern, and oh. she's using that, and she's using all these. So these are just fun, again, just geometric, interesting, colorful. These are kind of more citrusy color. I've got a really good I black, some it. oranges. Isn't that just yummy, that rainbow? What is So what this is, is coming in July. Again? Oh, it's called Good Vibes, Good and vibes. it's all about me growing up as a child of the 80s. I'll tell you, and <laughs> this print okay i'm gonna have to just tell you because it's so fun this is called gumballs so i love to chew gum and i used to pop bubbles so these are gumballs <laughs> i love it and this i used to run around in my yard and i used to play slip and slide and so this oh, is slip and slide yeah not fun mm -hmm. and then who remembers who remembers that um the bedazzler did you guys did you ever bedazzle your jeans oh, yes absolutely it's a little, and yep. my shoes so this my one, tennis shoes this is bedazzled, and then what else? And then I have, so these are all those citrusy colors, Love but it. wait, there's more. <laughs> In addition to these highly saturated prints, for the first time ever, I'm doing low volume fabrics. And you might say, what are low volume fabrics? No, I love it, so they're, excited. They're these, very light, this is called circuit board because I used to play, you know, I would com program computers in the 80s. This is called interconnected because I love to hang out with friends and be connected and just all these fun, light. So I did traditional quilting and I did modern quilting. Modern and traditional quilters use the same things. They just call it by different names. Modern quilters call these low volume. Traditional quilters call these backgrounds or lights it's ah. the same idea these really light pretty oh and this one is called good vibrations yes Isn't that fun yes, so anyway I these are it. coming these are coming in july and i'm making a couple quilts which i already told chris she can borrow them when they're done and hang them in the shop awesome. this is what i'm working on right now this one here some design wall these are some modern blocks these are log cabin blocks isn't that fun 
little oh. funky log cabin those. blocks made out of those. No, aren't those going to be great? So yes. that's one quilt. And then another quilt that I'm making, this is going to be a pattern, but then I'm going to be doing a free pattern. I'm going to be like Elmer Burns and just toss it over my there shoulder. There you go. There let's you get go. it out of the way. <laughs> I can do that. Elmer Burns, she's also a Benner Tex designer, and she's a good friend of mine, so I love her. <laughs> this one is a jelly roll quilt, but check this out. Do you know that there are two sides to every fabric? These low volume lights, I wanted to have more contrast. So you know what I did? This is the back side. This is oh. on this quilt. This is the back. Check this out. Check this you out. You did not. So here's the block. And look, do you see how it's brighter? That's on brilliant. That? Or in other words, here's the back of that fabric. Okay, I just here's have to get on for front. just a minute. <laughs> My friends. Look at what Krista Watson just did. Mic drop, boom. The fact that you turned your fabric over, some people mm -hmm. would be like, oh no, oh no, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Yes, you can. You can. I love it. So every light is the back, yes. So if your fabric is too bright and you wanna dull it down, Flip it over and use it on the back side. There's Nobody says you can't. with that. So. There is nothing wrong. I love it. I love it. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. I love it. And so those fabrics will be in our store in July. And again, yeah, July and August. Good, good vibes by Benetex. Good, good vibes. Yes. 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 And you, yeah, you're you're close to me. Like I can ship stuff to you because you're in Utah and I'm in Nevada. That's you right. You just call me up. You say, Krista, send me that bling quilt, Krista, and I'll be I'll be sending it your way. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While I'm doing the hula, the the free motion hula. The free motion hula. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only hula we'll be doing for a while. <laughs> no kidding. Huh? I love it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Couple more questions, real quick, um, before we sure, sure. wrap things up. One, is there a particular weight of thread that you like to use? Yes, I love. Oh, I should have brought it. I don't have a picture of it. I love Orafil fifty weight cotton. Mm -hmm. I use it for everything. I yeah. use it for piecing, quilting, binding. I love bright color, but I'm a minimalist. I don't in my personal stash. I don't want to have a million different thread weights and colors and cotton and rayon and 30 and 50 and 100 and like, ah, that's too much. 50 weight cotton or a fill mm -hmm. for everything. For but that's just me. Do you for do, everything. Do you do your quilting with it too? Yes. Oh, yeah. All oh, the not just samples. I can turn around. Yeah. Interesting. Piecing. Yeah. All of my samples, that's okay. all. Orafil 58 cotton and I have a couple I have three Orafil collections I should have brought them out but I didn't but I have um, the thread collections and you carry Orafil mm -hmm. too right we do yeah 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 absolutely um, I, that's all I use mm -hmm. the best thing about using it is not only do you do you never have to worry about which thread you're using if it's all 58 you can use it at the top and the bobbin mm -hmm. if you have leftover bobbins from quilting you can use those leftover bobbins when you're piecing your next quilt because then you'd be piecing and quilting with cotton. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's just my personal preference. Um, I have to bring this over. Lisa says, I, she said, I, I, ugh, I've sewn my fabric in backwards. I've sewn my fabric in backwards by mistake, but never on purpose. Genius. So see, there you go. If, you're a step if, ahead of the game. If it was meant to be that way, you just, even if it wasn't meant to be that way, you just tell people, oh, I meant to yeah. do that. No big deal, right? I meant to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I love that. Uh, let's see. Kathy wrote, I like her thinking out of the box methods. No cool. Please get Thank near you. her. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's all about just having fun. Exactly. And, and I just want to, I know you probably are going to put up my website, but I just want to let you guys know, I have like some free YouTube videos on basting and quilting. Yes. Um, I have lots of tutorials on my blog at Krista Quilt. Pretty much if you ask me a question about something, I'm here for you guys. I want you guys to love the process as much as I do. And I'm here to help you out anytime. Yeah, absolutely. And you, uh, you have a great Facebook group that that is very um, a, a lot of interaction in, and you're always helping people. 
So I put up here your IG handle, Krista Quilts. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I'm on Instagram every day. And I like what I couldn't figure out how to do on this technology is I really wanted to show you guys some like live free motion quilting. But if you go on Instagram and scroll through, I have lots of little 30 to second, 30 to 60 second Instagram videos. And if you, if you're familiar with Instagram, you know how you can do hashtags. Mm -hmm. So if you hashtag Krista Quilts video, I'll say oh. that one more time. Krista Quilts video on Instagram, you'll see all the 30 to 60 second videos of me just free motion quilting. Okay, I'm gonna I'm going to just put that up here on the screen real quick so everyone oh, great. knows. Krista Quilts video. Is that what you mm -hmm. say? Video and every or videos. Time What's that? Just video or videos? Yeah, yeah, lots of them. So every time I'm actually working on a quilt in real time, I just, with my phone camera, I grab a kid and I say, hey, take a 30 second video of me doing the free motion oh, hula. As, and as so every, I put those snippets. The hashtag has yeah, an S or no S? Um, no S. Okay. Yeah, no so S. Chris, Krista Quilts. Yeah, Krista Quilts. Let's see. Krista Quilts video. Okay, that's good to know. That's great to know. Then it's going to be just like you sitting right beside us. You know? Yep, exactly. Saying, how, how's it going, girl? How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is how you do the hula. <laughs> Free motion hula. That's right. I love it. I love it. Okay, so there's been some questions also about batting. What batting do you like okay. to use? I really like, well, let me ask you, what what brands do you carry? And I can tell you which of those that I use in my quilts. So, Chris, what, what do you guys carry in the shop? What batting do you guys carry? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you probably didn't know that, Chris. I, <laughs> I, we carry okay. them all. <laughs> so what I like, okay, that's great. I, so what I like I is, <laughs> I know, what, what are your kids' names? I'm just yeah, kidding. <laughs> I, I don't know. Don't ask me that right now. And definitely don't ask me the day of the week. Right. Yeah, <laughs> or the time. Yeah. So I love, I love, first of all, natural fiber, cotton, yeah. Yeah. wool, silk, um, bamboo. The natural fiber batting is going to breathe. And contrary to popular belief, mm -hmm. it does not make your quilt stiff to quilt the heck out of your quilt. If you use natural fiber batting and you there quilt you with cotton thread, mm -hmm. cotton thread, natural batting it's soft and it's supple of those that will help uh, just answer a, somebody's question that they had out there because they thought that the more dense you were then it would become like cardboard not necessarily nope. the case yeah natural cotton thread and either cotton or wool or silk we, batting we do, my favorite okay, i've never done i we do not sell uh silk we do do it's pricey we do a hundred percent cotton we do yep, love 80, it. 80, 20, and love it. we do uh, bamboo. Love it. Yep, I those are all it. good. Um, if you want your quilting to show and you want it to drape nicely and not show wrinkles, you want batting with wool. So there's like Hobbs mm -hmm. makes a 50-50 cotton and wool. Mm -hmm. Others make an 80-20. Um so the wool is going to give you poof, poof, poofiness and loft. Mm -hmm. It acts like polyester, but it's not. It's breathable, and it's really nice, and it shows good stitch, stitch definition. So if I'm making a, a show quilt, I will use wool. For like 90% of everything else, mm -hmm. I'll use cotton, just regular cotton. It mm -hmm. shrinks up. It drapes. It's heavy, though, and it shows wrinkles. So if right. you're entering, if you're shipping a quilt to a show, it's going to be heavy on postage and it's going to show all the wrinkles. You're going to have to steam it. Don't ask uh, how you know that, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> you can use two battings if you want to. Sometimes I'll do a layer of cotton on the mm -hmm. bottom okay. and then a layer of wool and I get the best of both worlds and I get a really thick. But just what I recommend, what I recommend on your next five quilts, get five different battings Take a picture of the batting with the quilt and take notes. And how do you like it? Does it shrink? Does it wrinkle? Does it smell? Does it does it feel soft and su supple? And use five different battings on your next five quilts, and then you can determine which is your favorite because there's no right or wrong answer. 
Well, and I like some things, you know, if if I have a lot of white fabric on it, I'm going to definitely want to use like 100% cotton white. Like a bleached. If I yeah, want something yeah. to be really soft and drapey and cuddly, I'm going to put in bamboo. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so what you can do with all these little samples, you can make like 10 of these mm -hmm. and you can try them. And like, I don't know, Chris, like if you guys at the shop, like if you have leftover batting or if we long do. arm quilters mm -hmm. have leftover batting, we do. cut them up and make little kits and make Good little idea. like scraps. Here's yeah. some, you know, and label them and then you can make, you know, a bunch of different and then see how it feels when you mm -hmm. cook them and mm -hmm. wash them and see how they perform and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So when our feed got dropped earlier, we, you were, you were talking about getting a big quilt underneath the machine. Would you oh, mind just yes. talking about that for real quick? Sure. So number one, if you can put a big table, that's going to help you hold the weight of the quilt. Yeah. Number two, if you don't have a big table, you can use like a kitchen table or something. Get a little table to the left of you so that you like have a table here and here or ironing board so you have an L. Because if you have an L, this is where your quilt is, mm -hmm. you can hold it. So if the weight of the quilt can be off of your table, that makes it easier. The second thing is when you're taking your quilt, let's see, I don't have a big one, but when you're taking your quilt and you're shoving it through the machine, mm -hmm. only worry about the five or six inches under your hands. Mm -hmm. And I have my hands like this, that's like this, and I'm only worrying about this area under my hands. Mm -hmm. One other tip I'll give you, let's see. Um, and then when, another tip when is to, to pay your, pay your yes. kids to do this, right? Yeah. I want to bring bring this piece up again just to show okay. you. This is one block, but pretend like this is a big queen size quilt or even the quilt behind me. Actually, you know what? Let me do it with quilt behind me. I'm not going to get up, but you see that quilt behind me and you see how there's rows and rows and rows of blocks? Yes. Okay. Those blocks, let's say those blocks are eight inch blocks you know because they're based on like jelly rolls and fat quarters and stuff so each of those blocks let's say you have blocks and you have 10 blocks across and they're eight inches wide okay do you have that picture in your head what you're going to do to anchor your quilt is you're going to start at the top and you're going to stitch in the ditch all the way across then you're going to scoot over eight inches and you're going to stitch all, all the way and you're going to scoot over eight inches and you're going to stitch and you're going to do a grid like this so you're going to stitch in the ditch this way and then you're going to stitch in the ditch that way so when you're done you have this grid of eight inch squares that you've stitched in the ditch because that's how big your blocks are if they're six inch blocks your grid's going to be six inches if they're 12 inch block your your blocks going to your grid's going to be 12 inches mm -hmm. do you guys have that visual with you yeah okay once you've done that all you're worrying about is six to eight to 12 inches that's what this is this is an eight inch block. So I've ditched here, I've ditched here, I've ditched here, I've ditched here. You're not worrying about the rest of that queen size quilt. You're just taking your quilt, you're shoving it through the machine and all you're focusing is on this. You quilt that area, then you leave your needle down, you shove it through some more and then you focus on the next area of your block. That's kind of an abstract visual. I'd say take lots of breaks too. Like don't don't yes, think you're gonna do yes. it. Yes, take all at lots one of breaks. Setting. And here and here's the thing. When you're quilting a big old quilt, when you feel like you're starting to reach, you need to, you know, you don't want to be doing this. Yeah. You need to stop with the needle in the down position, mm -hmm. reposition. Mm -hmm. You're probably honestly, you're gonna spend more time adjusting your quilt mm -hmm. than you are stitching. You're gonna stitch stop adjust stitch stop adjust you're going to spend half the time repositioning your quilt because you're only quilting a little bit at a time right good advice really good advice and you and again just just take your time don't be rushed enjoy the process mm -hmm. exactly I think, right and then uh yeah but all these quilts yeah, I say all these quilts are just giant on my regular sewing machine with the built-in table, one stitch at a time, one block at a time. Deborah asks, do you pin your quilt together or use spray? I actually love spray-based, and I have a tutorial. It takes me about an hour, maybe minutes to spray-based, 
I have a like seven minute YouTube video. If you just find me crystal quotes on YouTube showing like speed it up, how I do it. I'm going to give you the 30 second, maybe one minute version of that. Okay. What I do, I take my quilt top and my quilt back backing. I take my top and my backing. I go outside. I put a sheet down on the ground. I take my basting spray okay, and I spray the back of the top and the back of the back. Then I scrunch it all up. I bring it inside and I actually assemble on my design wall. See my design wall back there? That holds up to a queen size quilt. Whoa. If you don't have a design wall, you can do a table. I have a tutorial on how to build a design wall. So you take your top, your back, your backing, you put it on the design wall and you smooth it all out. Then you take your batting and you put it on the design wall and you smooth it all out. Then you take your top and you put it on the design wall with the backing and the back batting and you make sure that your backing and batting is bigger on all sides and you smooth it all out. You take it off the design wall, trim up some of the edges, but you still want extra. Then you go to the iron and you iron from the back. You iron the whole quilt sandwich on the back because that makes the glue stick together and it smooths out the wrinkles. Okay. Then you flip it over and you iron it. Again, I have this video and I have tutorials on how to do this on my it's blog. An and excellent YouTube. one. I, I would definitely agree with that. That is, it is an excellent video that you have out there. And, and, and you know, it talk about saving your back from having to mm -hmm. get down on the ground and do it. I like the idea of putting it up like that. Because you can be so close, you're mm -hmm. not, I mean, you can do it on a table. If you don't have a design wall, right. do it on the floor, do it on the table, whatever. But right. when you're on a floor, you're reaching. When you're on a design wall, you're literally two inches away yeah. from it. And it's, you know, make friends. Once we can see our friends, once we can hug, touch, once we can talk to our friends, you know, decide yeah. which of you, which of you girlfriends, you know, one of you has the design wall, uh -huh. one of you has the basting table, one of you, ha you know, and, and okay, we're going to go to Mary's house and everybody's going to baste at her house because she has the design wall, you know? <laughs> There you go. There you have it. A team effort, right? It takes a village. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, but, I, but I tell myself, the, the video that I have, the YouTube video that I made, like I stopped and I started the video whenever I started from start to finish in real time. It mm -hmm. took me 45 minutes to baste a, um, a throw size quilt. Wow. 45 minutes. I thought it was going to take two hours. It was 45 minutes. And then I shrunk it down to seven minutes. So. And and girl, you got this down to a science. I will say that. <laughs> I will say that. Uh, Camelia shares, so glad I tuned in. Great advice. Thanks. Makes it seem Good. so doable. Good. It, you guys, it's totally doable. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. How yep. do you quilt a queen size quilt? One stitch at a time. Exactly. Exactly. I think that's excellent advice. So do you have a giveaway for us today you want to tell yes, us about? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let me, let me, okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to throw in a bonus one just because I had so much fun. <laughs> there we go. Facebook is like, <laughs> oh, that's okay. Okay. We're back on. Are you there? All right. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you guys so, hear me? Yes. Okay, good. So tell us what, what are your giveaways today? Okay. So two people get to win any two of my patterns. So Yay. it can be terrace tiles, blockchain, blooming wallflowers, color weave, whichever pattern you want. And to make it easy, if you're in the US, I will physically ship them to you. So two of you get two patterns each. If there are any international people, I will send you a PDF. I'll send you a digital download. So nice. two patterns for two people. So, so they, yay, they, they share the love. Whichever ones they want. Yes, exactly. I they can go on your, on your website, pick whichever ones they want, and I'll mail them to them for free. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So in order to enter the giveaway, everyone, uh, what we want you to do is just comment on this post and tell us something you're excited about, something new you learned, uh, what quilt pattern of Krista's that you want to do next. 
uh, what was an aha moment for you during the presentation today. Share with us something that you learned. And if you wouldn't mind sharing with your friends, we would absolutely be honored for you to do that as well and help spread the love of, uh, of modern quilting and, and you know quilting on your domestic the love of krista watson who i just absolutely adore and uh, sharing the message from my girlfriend's quilt shop we would be so uh, appreciative of that so go ahead and post your comments down below and we will be choosing winners at the end of the week for each day so not only could you enter in for christmas patterns but my girlfriend's quilt shop is also going to be giving away a 50 dollars gift card to our shop and we're giving wow. away one of those every single day this week so yeah. that's can I, enter, can, I, can I enter i'm kidding I'm yeah kidding. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And so we've got uh, some, you know, I just, I can't wait to have the, the random number generator pick our winners here at the end of the week because it's going to be like Christmas. I'm going to feel like Santa Claus giving away all these fun things to everyone. So please, 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 you know, follow Krista. Uh, Krista Quilts is uh, her handle on social media. And definitely check out her videos too at hashtag Krista Quilts video so that you can see all of those themes as well. So before we end today, Krista, my friend, what life advice do you have for all of us out there? Because we are just loving being able to share little pearls of wisdom with everyone. What life advice do you have? I would just say, Take it easy and don't overthink it. And that applies to anything, whether it's quilting or yeah. piecing or navigating a new life. Just take it easy. It's okay. And we're all in this together. Yeah. Yeah. You want to sing with me? We're all in this together. All in this together. Free motion. Mm -hmm. We're all in this together. <laughs> Oh, you are amazing. I love you, Chris. I love you guys. This is so great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Krista. You are awesome. We learned so much today. I think there was just a plethora of aha moments. And for those of you who have downloaded the, the workbook, the printable workbook that we have had for this whole week, I bet you've got notes and notes and notes filled with Krista, what she shared today. Lots of great advice, lots of good tips. Thank you. When this is all over, we're going to have a party and you're invited, my friend. I'm coming. And I will, I'll go through the comments and any questions that yes. you guys asked for me, I will, I'll, I'll leave you a message. So I'll do that this afternoon. Good, 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 good. I appreciate that so much. And yes, we are, we have everything, all of her patterns. We've got her fabric, uh, her books. All of it is in our online store. Go to mygirlfriendsquiltshop.com and you'll be able to find everything there. Just look up uh, under new releases. We've brought everything that we're sharing up to the top. So go to new releases. You'll be able to see everything there. You can order your fabric. Uh, we have the charm packs of her new grid work. And we also have yardage on the bolt that you can buy in half yard increments. So we would That's love perfect love love your your support there so all right krista i'm going to take you off the screen right now and give my final words and thank you so much i miss you i i wish i was going to see you at spring market i'm really sad about that being canceled fall. so hopefully in the fall that's right <laughs> we got to at least do it this way so it was so fun all right thanks krista we'll talk to you later Okay, everyone, I hope you had as much fun today as I had. What a joy to be able to listen to her. I could, honestly, I could listen to her all day. She was such an amazing presenter when she came to our shop a few years ago. I knew when I was going to put together this summit, I knew that she was definitely one that I would have to reach out to and ask if she wouldn't mind joining us because she is so incredibly talented but not only that she's just an amazing person in 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 her own right i'm so appreciative of what she does what she represents 
who she is, the kind of mother she is, the kind of wife she is, the kind of business owner she is. I just, I like people like that. I really do. There's a lot of really great people out there, and Christus just happens to be one of my favorites. So thank you so much for uh, all of you for joining me today. Again, for a chance to win some of her patterns, as well as a $50 gift card from our shop, comment below and tell us something new you learned today or what you're excited about uh, with some of her quilt patterns, whether it's her books, an aha moment, whatever it is. And of course, please share with friends. We would appreciate that so much. And we have one more day of the summit this week. And I get to interview my one and only, my sister, my twin sister, who is two minutes older than me, folks. Two minutes older. Although, she, when we were younger, she would brag about that. And I told her she needs to stop bragging because I like to say I'm two minutes younger, right? And that is Kim Christofferson of Kimberg Bell Designs. She will be our special guest tomorrow. I'm super excited what she has to share. And so I hope you'll join me for that. 12 o'clock noon, Mountain Standard Time. And I hope to see you then. In the meantime, as I always end these, uh, stay safe. Stay healthy, stay home, and keep sewing. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow.